Hello! Welcome to Squid Essays. Inking your academic pen. My name is Julie and I will be your instructor as we read through Gladiator, comparison from the movie to actual history essay. The article source is embedded in the video description below. Feel free to read along. Please note that you can get a custom, plagiarism free essay for as little as $10 a page at Squid Essays. The link is in the description. In the movie, many things portrayed are the same as what really happened in Roman history. Some things though, are a little different in the actual history of Rome than in the movie. Scenes were changed in the movie too, to make the plot more interesting. I connected what I could between the movie and the actual history of Rome. Maximus was a general of Rome and a really good general at that. He led Rome to many victories. He was so great and loyal that in the movie, Marcus Aurelius actually asked him to succeed him in the throne. When Commodus heard this from his father, he killed him and sentenced Maximus to death. When Maximus escaped, he was picked up by a group of men and sold as a slave to become a gladiator. As a gladiator, he fought many different types of gladiators. Quicker ones had nets with tridents and slower ones had curved swords with shields. There were some gladiators that even had chariots. In the actual history of Rome, there really were different types of gladiators. The gladiators with the net and trident were called the Retarius. The gladiator with the curved sword and shield were called the Samnite. I unregistered trademark am not too sure if there were gladiators that used chariots as their weapons but it sounds likely since it is thought that the Colosseum was filled up and used for both wars. Using chariots would be easy for them and entertaining for the crowd. Their unregistered trademark essay seen in the movie where it unregistered trademark essay one-on-one -on -one battle between Maximus and a champion gladiator. Maximus is barely armed and protected. All he has is a sword and shield I believe. The other man has two swords, a mask for protection, and heavy armor. This shows how each type of gladiator was to fight a different kind of gladiator so the match would be even and fair. In the movie, Commodus is very sneaky and vengeful. He uses murder in his politics also. He killed his father, tried to kill Maximus and even wanted to get rid of the Senate in order for him to become a true emperor. He thinks the Senate is unneeded and believes himself to be more of a people unregistered trademark s person than the actual senators. In history, there was much murder in the government also. The Gracchus were murdered as well as Caesar. Commodus tries to assassinate and kill Maximus since Maximus is supposed to be the successor to the throne after Marcus Aurelius. In Roman history, the Romans never developed a formal policy of succession. Although many emperors named their successors, the Roman army often refused to accept the new emperors and assassinated them. This is what Commodus tried to do with Maximus in order for himself to become emperor and rule. Gracchus wants the citizens of Rome to be happy in the movie and makes sure the emperor hears the problems and needs of the people when he counsels with him. He even suggests possible solutions to the problems. He seems to be a people unregistered trademark s person very much and knows how some of the senators can be crooked. In Roman history, there were actually two Gracchus who were actually both murdered because they were disliked by crooked senators who used violence to get ahead. The real Gracchus wanted to help the citizens out also. They even used public funds to purchase grain to be sold through the poor at low prices so they can afford it. They also improved the political status of the equities, business and land-owning people. Lucinia, sister of Commodus, has a son named Lucius. I did some research to find out that her son was named after his father who died in 169 AD. His name was Lucius Verus. In the movie, she is portrayed as a widow, but, in real history, she remarries to Tiberius Claudius Pompinus Quintinus of Antioch. In the movie, she joins the plot for the good of the Roman people but she really participated in this plot because she lusted after power. She also supports her brother in the movie but was actually involved in a plot with her cousin to assassinate Commodus and raise her husband up as emperor. The plan was figured out and she was banished to the island of Capri. In the movie, it shows her as outliving her brother but she is actually executed at the island because he changed his mind. As you can see, many things throughout the movie were the same as to what happened in the history of Rome. A few minor details were changed but nothing too noticeable. 
the only major difference I could see was in Lucilia and how she was portrayed. Her role had to be changed or else the whole movie would have been different and probably more boring. Definitely when you put the two, movie and history, side by side, you see how good of a job they really did sticking to the facts and at the same time, making the movie wicked awesome with its totally cool action. Thank you for taking your time to listen to me. I hope you enjoyed learning about Gladiator, comparison from the movie to actual history I say as much as I did. Kindly remember that you can get a custom, plagiarism free essay at Squid Essays for as little as little as $10. The link is in the description. See you next time.